is up you guys it's sneakers and chris i'm back here with another shoe review for you guys another video for you guys today i have here the adidas easy foam renders sand this is a foam um the sand colorway i did drop the um the moon gray colorways so make sure to um check that out after this video or if you want to check it out right now make sure to pause it then go check that out the link will be below in my description box but yes check it out um check out the moon gray videos i did drop i have both of them i did drop um that video first and i kept this one last because i will do a full review on this one it is my size well somewhat but we'll talk about that so i'll do a full review so make sure to stay tuned to the rest of the video to the end of the video to see the nice full review for um on this pair so you guys can see how it fit with me and we could chop it up and, and throughout the video i'll tell you guys how the size run all right so as we always do we're going to start with the box um the same thing if you watch the video on the moon grade the same thing like i said um there was a previous colorway previous pair that came out in the foam runners i'm not sure if the box was exactly the same way but this is my first time having the um a foam runner a foam runner in hand and having it as part of my collection so this is my first time actually seeing it i'm glad to share with you guys but as you guys can see um on our regular yeezys we get um some type of wording on the outside with a number this is a regular yeezy box um actually a show 350 and you guys can see that we have 350 numbers and everything else on the box as we always do boost as we always do on the box and this is the labeling on the box but on these on the foam runners you just have a plain nothing in the back the only thing that's in the back is the sticker which i'm pretty sure the store probably scanned it probably i'm not sure it's just for the store or, if, or every store has it or every pair i'm pretty sure every pair has it but just for the store to scan it most likely and but the nice detail is all the way inside it's just if you don't know you gonna be shocked i was pretty shocked as soon as you open it you see foam and you see runner right here so basically everything that's supposed to be in the, um on the outside is in the inside so like a reverse type of box and everything that's supposed to be at the inside that plain empty inside is on the outside they even got the label inside so as you guys can see i'm bringing it a little closer for you guys i'll read it for you guys as always um yeezy foam runner um size 11 sand 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 sable 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 originals originals and made by adidas with a sign and then with the paper wrappings and the shoe i'm glad that i am home so you got uh, to show you guys the difference of the boxes you know the foam runners and the regular easy box um but that's pretty much it for the box then other than that with the shoe itself which released march um 26 like i said with the moon grays make sure to check out our video on my page i did a review i'll make sure to check that out after this video but yes so this this is basically the same thing as the moon grays but i'll say that the moon grays the only thing is that the moon grays the colors was gray and it, it was like a um it was like a splash or like a tie-dye or marble colorway with the cream but this is a, just a solid color very solid easy to rock actually that's the difference between the moon gray and this um close to the um the previous colorway that came out before i'll say the other one was probably lighter but it's not much you could say about this color like um the name already says it a sand colorway this is a sand colorway it's a very light cream colorway not really much difference nothing else changed the whole shoe the outsole is not and why you don't see no boost like you will see on the shoe on our easy you don't see none of that the whole shoe is actually the material is foam so everything is just foam from the bottom to the top everything is just foam um the material it is different as you guys can see the structure is different you have a lot of holes and the holes in my opinion is probably um for the design of having the comfort and having some air and some space for your feet to breathe and to make it i guess easier for an uh, easier way for it to stretch out because it already has the foam in the bottom which is very stretchy like it it's just very balanced too with the foam and then with the holes giving it some room giving i'm um, making the comfort a little bit more much better that's that's a pretty nice thing about this um this um the shoe overall if you want to call a shoe or a sandal or a slide or actually a croc a uh, yeezy crocs that's what they're calling it now that's what they're calling it now i've seen a lot of people saying yeezy crocs 
but aside from that as you go as you look more closely inside you do see those little like i'll say little bumps as you pass your fingers you do feel them as you pass your fingers but when you do have like when you do have your feet inside if you have some socks you do not feel them at all i haven't tried them on yet without socks i probably won't because i don't want no blisters i feel like this will probably give me blisters around the whole of my ankle that's that's my opinion on the the ankle area um on this side that it might give you blisters the way it seems like i'm not so sure yet i haven't tried it on i, I have obviously i just got this pair and i haven't beat it yet to see if it's gonna, if i'm gonna get any blisters but going back to the holes honestly something i do see and i'm not sure if i'm the only one that see it but let me know if you guys do see it as you can see the holes in the back do seem like the holes you can see um you see on 700s and the shoe actually if you're looking at it this way from the back from the back to the side right here is somewhat look like a 700 or a 380s especially the back of 380s i'll definitely say 380s it somewhat look like it honestly but yeah and the holes look like the 700 then switching over on the also definitely look like the 700 also or a 380 also you just you would have to boost but instead you just just have foam and then you can see the little thing right here probably where the foam was infused was was inserted into the shoe but the nice thing about this shoe is just that the holes are different you see some holes that's some um it's a different type of shape then you go on closer right here it's a whole different type of shape then you go on the top layer it's a whole different type of shape so kanye and adidas just did a mixture of, like they already made the, this shoe is already different with the way it looks Corners, one thing you don't really see on the shoe you don't really see much size saying adidas or yeezys the only adidas that i've seen so far on these shoes is huh. oh it's actually on the bottom right here where you probably would see the boost on the on the outside of the shoe but you just see the adidas right here that's pretty much it even inside is no adidas just have the sticker the sticker yeah the just the sticker does say adidas inside you guys can see but another thing it does have um where it's made from on the side if you guys are looking into that in case there's any fake pairs around it says right here made in it says foam, foam runner 11 us made in usa so this one is made in usa and the moon grease was made in usa so if you guys watching this video you guys would know that these pairs was made in usa other than that let's get into sizing sizing with these honestly when i was at the store i i was hoping to get well honestly i did not know what size i was in these this is my first time wearing them i actually never even wear a easy slide so i don't even know overall what size i am in any of those so but luckily i was at the store and they said i could have tried it on so they had an option between nine and size 11 they did not have a size 10 i normally wear size 10 did not have a size 10 but i feel like if they did have a size 10 i probably the size 10 would have probably been best so probably so that means it would been true to size for me so and it's not in the line also got a pair was like they went true to size and fit perfectly perfectly well but i didn't get a chance because they didn't have any size 10 left so i went with size 11 i tried a nine the nine was real the nine was really tight on the corners right here it was durable but i like i'm a guy that likes to be comfortable when i do wear my shoes i i am out all day so i like to be comfortable i'd rather have some space so i was thinking do i want to have some space or just have that night that tight feeling so i was like i'm just gonna take the little space and anyway this one is not bad because it's not like a sandal it's something that something's in the back to hold your feet so it's not it's, it's gonna give you support if it's not if it's not really tight so that's okay it's still gonna hug your feet so as well as i'm gonna just go with size 11 but next time i'm going for a pair like this a new colorway i'll probably go for size 10 because i feel like the size 10 would have done perfectly fine but let me know if you guys what you guys think are you guys true to size on these if you guys know or not are you or would you guys go half half a size up or half a size down in this video of course guys we have to rate it my rating on this shoe is well this shoe this sandal this slide this croc whatever you want to call it i'm gonna call it a easy croc i'm i'm gonna go with the hype or i might just call it some easy slides but i'm rating this a nine i do feel like the moon grays was better i wish i had a personal size and i wish i had i, had, I wish i had a chance to get a personal size and the moon grays but i didn't 
Oh, they only had a size. There were a size that could fit me in these, so I took this instead for my for my size. So, but if I did have a chance to get both, or between both, I would pick the moon grays for my for my personal because I do feel like the moon grays do look better. It's different with the colors. This do look good. That's why I'm giving a nine. But just with the additional gray, with the um like a tie dye look, a marble look of the cream, it, it's it's a different vibe. I like things that look different. So. It pops, it, it grabs attention. I like those type of things. But this still gonna grab attention. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm still gonna rock these. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it as a beater. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it as a beater. But I guess in time, I'll see how it, how it is. I'll try to wear them as much as possible so I can see how really comfortable it gets or does it get more comfortable when, when you wear more. Is it like, like a regular easy shoe? But that's pretty much it for my video. Guys, don't forget if you haven't yet checked out the Moon Gray videos, make sure to check it out. The link will be below in my description box. And make sure to stay to, to the end. I will be dropping the Uncle Review right after. So thank you guys for stopping by. It's Snickers and Chris. Hope to see you in the next one. Make sure to stay for the Uncle Review.